500 times. Just let that number sink in for a second. That's how much more land a solar farm needs to produce the exact same amount of reliable 24-7 power as a next-generation nuclear plant. This isn't just a statistic, it's a physical limit, and we are crashing right into it. For the past two decades, the whole clean energy story has been about one thing, trade-offs. The idea was pretty simple, right? Let's just spread out and collect the energy that's already hitting us from the sun and the wind. But that locked us into this massive bargain. We get clean energy, but in exchange for absolutely gigantic amounts of physical space. Well, we are now at the end of that road. Okay, let's break this down, because it's super important. On one side, you've got low-density power. Think of those sprawling solar and wind farms. They take up huge amounts of land, they need incredible amounts of materials, and they produce intermittent power. You know, it just disappears when the sun goes down or the wind stops blowing. But on the other side, you have high-density power. We're talking nuclear, geothermal, and fusion. It uses a tiny, tiny land footprint, a concentration of materials, and it provides constant, firm power. That's the key word. It's always on, day or night. 